Hi! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and you're watching Michelle's Life. Today I wanted to do a very quick review of a book that I read. I signed up for NetGalley after I saw that Cat Winter's ARC was available. I was declined for that ARC, but I figured that I would read a book so that I could build up my credibility with NetGalley so that I may be able to read future arcs that I'm more interested in. The title of the book is called Fairy Tales for Modern Queers. Yes, that definitely stands out and you're like, what? But basically the author wanted to rewrite modern fairy tales so that everyone would have a voice within the fairy tale world. Um, and I thought that was really interesting, so I picked it up. I think it was like 300 pages. The author's name was Emily Reed. And I'm not sure if this was her first book, but I think it is. I think she is a debut author, and the book is coming out. The first story is a Cinderella retelling, and it focuses on a boy whose father just remarried, and he now has two twin step siblings. One's a boy, one's a girl. He is bullied, and it was just a really bad retelling. I don't, I don't know. He falls in love with or has a crush on a boy in his class, and the boy finds... Um, one of his mother's things that one of the twins stole and it was just very boring and I felt like this book shouldn't have started off with that story. I think there were like 10 retellings. I don't remember quite how many there, I don't remember how many there were exactly, but my favorite were um, the, it was called Mermaid, which was a retelling of The Little Mermaid, but from the stance of a siren um, where women were thrown overboard and they became mermaids and then they enacted their revenge on the people who tried to kill them and that was really good but again with that story it just seemed like the LGBTQ aspect was just slapped onto the end um, so it seemed kind of silly. Another one that I really liked was um, it was called Fire Escape and it was a retelling of Rapunzel and that one was more interesting because it focused on the dynamic of the mother and the daughter and it did have the LGBTQ aspect in it um, but I like that it was just I don't know it was a, a well-crafted story so there were about three stories in this short story collection that I really liked but I felt that if there were less stories and she could have just focused on just a couple in this book that it would have been a lot stronger because I liked her characters and well some of them and I liked her details that she changed and I thought that um, the trans story was really good it was the princess and the pea retelling and that one was really good but overall I just gave this book a three stars and I kind of think it deserved like 2.5 just because it was very raw and I do understand that some of the stories were metaphors for whether they were like Sleeping Beauty was kind of like a metaphor for you know closeted people and I, I do understand that some of the stories were overarching metaphors some of these themes but they just weren't very well executed and I feel that she could have done more but she was pressing herself to get all of these stories into this one book and if she had more time to focus on the stories that I think it would have been a great opportunity to do these fairy, t fairy tale retellings correctly. Um, she did have a great start and I would like to see more from her. I just don't think I would pick up a short story collection from her again. I would be more interested in an in-depth world. And, and more in-depth characters than she could offer in this short story collection. So I'll definitely keep my eye out for this author. Thank you for watching. If you want to see my review, I might leave the NetGalley review or my Goodreads uh, link down below if you want to check that out. Thank you for watching. Bye!